my name is Seth Skies. Today I just want to show you and how you can design different types of roofs. And my most emphasis of today I'm going to show you and how you can just design a Dutch roof, a gable roof, and also a one-sided flat roof. Thank you as I'm going to take you through. Don't forget to share, comment, and also subscribe to my channel. So first, just come to your arch card, open your arch card. It's going to take you to this section. Your arch card is supposed to be having these navigations and also these tool elements. So first, go to your design, pick your wall tool. I'm just going to make a a rough drawing is the sketch work so I like using white I'm going to pick totem white uh, then click on not linked select your generic structure wall I can just place there with it. Let me use 150. The height let it be around 700. Yeah, project from zero. So I just want to start with a plan that contains a Dutch roof. So let me make just a rough sketch. Just drag a copy. just a rough sketch I'm not going to make the partitions of it so I just want to show you and I can just come up with different types of stairs so I only the, let me place the slab just a slab <laughs> now let me place the my roof come to roof tool here you are going to select the specs so the roof is supposed to go hand in hand with the height of the building Ever since I used 2700 as my height, I'm going to use 2700 or so. This is the offset where the roof is supposed to start from. And I'm 
going to select this like uh, fish bar and it's uh, 50 uh, I want to use an angle of 26 for the gable then here I'm going to select the type of ion sheets I want to use for instance let me use this dutch with the fisher board of white I selected dutch 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 and then I click ok I don't think there's another thing that I should add and I'll click ok then I'll just come to my plan and start drawing your roof select uh, under the construction method select a complex roof yeah this is the one the one that I'm using that so this is the display of it so this is how your roof is going to look so as you can see it has nothing to do with Dutch roof or the gable roof so I just want to come up with a design of a Dutch roof so in this case I want to make I want to create a dutch at these sections so just come to uh, I want to make one dutch here another one here and another one here and then leave this this rich section to be like that so all you have to do is just come and click Control plus A, you select the whole roof, then you right click on your mouse, scroll down to and split into single planes, click there, then click split anyway, then come back again, hold Control plus A, then select the whole roof come to your view I mean head it then scroll down to grouping under grouping click on ungroup once you click on ungroup then you start creating your dutch so in this section I want to create my dutch on this face on this face and on this face so let me start from the front elevation so I'm going to come these are going to be my my like guidelines yeah these nodes here are going to be my guidelines so just come hold your Hold your mouse then just scroll down to this side and then just bring that node there also the other side also just take it from that point don't take it from there from the center just take it from the front yeah just leave some just a small gap there and then bring this section it's going to give you that guideline and now this one is the one that you're supposed to take from that center this node here stretch 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 it until it lies horizontal with the with the first two nodes then click ok like that then 
come to the other side also straight this node this side straight this node this side the center also make sure that it is at the center before you raise your mouse like that come to this other side also repeat the same procedure make sure it's data center like that so once you're done this is how yeah that is going to look like so you want to place the frames here and these three sections so for you to close that gap i like using the the wall tool so my height my height is from 700 so i'm going to project this height to start from 2700 then here i'm going to increase the height of my board let me say round foot 500 let me say 2000 that's two meters high and then i'll click ok then i'll come to model then i just select the type of timber that i want to put there so for this case let me use the walnut horizontal then i click ok so this is the timber that i'm going to close this side of my dutch so I'll just come to your timber there stretch it with the far hand then you'll only see it on your 3d so small so I'll just increase the height of it so let me push height of 4500 and just like that so once you're done with that go back do the same to this side do the same to this side so this this timber is not going to be to be seen on the roof plan so that's why you see once i pressed it raised my mouse just go off and disappear so just want to increase the height of these two i select my arrow tool and then select my height my wall i'm going to press that height should be like that then i'm going to once you select these two you'll come and select the roof that is going to underline with this wall with this uh, i mean this wood so just click that section and also this section and the same yeah do the same just select the front face of the roof and the side also and once you're done with that there's this tool here you see with the trim element roof shelf just so you just come and click on that and then click trim it will automatically trim it so as you see this gap is just closed with it and then our dutch has also been created as simple as that so the same you have to do here took your hollow arrow to select the front face and the side face go to trim just as that and then your dutch roof is just created this is just the simplest ways of creating a dutch roof so let me show you now on how to come up with a gable 
with the gable roof so let me go to my wall tool i'm going to change the settings here i'll just remain with my existing settings <laughs> the model here i'm going to let me now check the brakes let me use the running bond for this case so i just want to show you now you can just come up with a with the what with the gable roof just want to create just a symbol a symbol plan and this is just a rectangle shape and i want to place my my gable here and also on this face so I'll just come to roof yeah let me just remain persistent with this one six degrees as my angle then i'll just come to that end select my roof use the complex geometry just like that so this are this are your plan is going to look like so you want to create a gable here and on this side so just follow the same steps same same steps that we did here so you just come and highlight control plus a sorry I'm having two plans so it just forced me to highlight it out manual so on your mouse right click go down to split into single planes click on split anyway and then come back and then select this roof again click escape and select your roof go to edit grouping click on ungroup now this one is going to be different with this one just come the same steps now you are not going to take this note up to this section rather you are going to extend it up to the bottom like that also take this one extend it to the bottom this one extend it up to the bottom don't know whether i've done something right let me check yeah I come to the other side too extend it to the bottom extend it to the bottom sorry it has to be straight with the line of axis just like that so here you just come and select our arrow tool just click on this slanting plane of the roof that is inside and then you delete it then turn to the other section too the other side select your arrow tool then delete the the inclined roof as you can see this is our gable roof i've already created it like that sorry i don't know what i've done with my roof it seems to be splitting anyway oh the reason this line is not is not straight as i said i made a mistake when i was just directing the line of axis let me undo yeah 
start afresh take that node stretch it from the far end drag the same here stretch it up the far end same here stretch the far end same here stretch to the far end now I take the bottom the center one and also this one here just like that yeah now my roof is well oriented now I'm going to select my arrow arrow tool just want to delete this phase here the inclined plane click on your keyboard orbit and also select this one also delete this so you are going to remain with the gable like this so here what you are going to do is just to extend the height of this wall so I'm going to click select my arrow click this wall and this wall then I'm going to increase the height under the geometry and positioning let me for instance let's say 7007 meters because we are going to crop it like that so once you select it like that I want to come and show you now you can just trim this this is the same as the Dutch roof, the same procedure. Take your harrow tool, select your wall, this phase of the roof, and also this phase of the roof. Come to a trim element roof shell and click on trim. Automatically, it will just trim like that. Go to the other side also. Do the same. Select your arrow tool, highlight your uh, iron sheets, then you trim it. Just a symbol like that. That's how you can generate a gable roof on any arch card. So last, let me show you now. You can just come up with a with a one-sided slope roof one-sided slope roof <sighs> so let's take this wall place the height of 2700 so let me change now this time the model place the stone 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 mark let me use this Just don't construct some design, just something, something symbol here. So I'll check my roof. Now what I'm going to change here is now there this angle i'm not going to use 26 because i just want to create a slope a one-sided slope roof so i'm going to change this angle to around eight degrees <laughs> then i'll click ok under the method of construction here i'm not going to use the complex one rather i'm going to use the single plane and then i'm going to point on which side i want my roof to slope to if i want this roof of mine to slope to this side let me say for want it to slope to this side so i'm going to come and select the roof and then i'll draw this side like this then i check it with my that high side then i'll come and draw 
from my roof all over all over my walls so this is what it's going to look like so I want this roof to slope this way it seems that I've not changed the angle of it so let me hold on the roof change the angle to 8 degrees and click OK yeah I just want to slope with this angle so what I'm going to do I'm going to select all the walls all these three walls here then increase the height let me say around 4500 millimeters that is 4.5 meters just like that then I want to trim this wall to fit exactly with this roof. So I'm going to select my hardware tool. Come and select this wall, this wall, the last wall. Then I select my roof. Come to trim. Click trim anyway. Boom. Just as simple as that. So this is how you can just come up with one sided slope roof the gable roof and also the dutch roof thank you guys for your keeping update as also try to come up with many and also different designs keep on supporting my channel by subscribing liking and also sharing as also don't forget to leave a comment as we share a lot in this field of architecture thank you have a nice day.